builders. There are many kinds of builders in Minecraft, but in this video I am talking about prison builders. Who is the best? Is any of them perfect? Let's find out today. Now when we're talking about building prisons, there's a lot of things to take into consideration. But since I don't want a 2 hour video talking about every possible factor, let's cut it down to 3 factors, build, redstone and IQ. So when talking about the building factor, I am not talking about how good the designs are or if they are willing to build huge prisons. So no huge obsidian box. What I will be judging if it's reasonable to build, does it offer enough for you to build it? Now about redstone, I don't care about big doors or falling grounds. What I care about is, if it's useful to prevent actual escapes and if it stands out from others. So finally how they think, how do they solve a problem when they encounter a problem? How big is their ideas? Are they just gonna stick to one good idea and use it forever? And prison release dates will have an impact so the older the prisoner the better. So with all the factors explained let's start by saying who will be in the list. Awesome dude, can't forget the original. Seems then, one of the first few to make an actual prison like Pandora's. Ray's works, first one to use armor stands for a prison. Eagle Eye, first one to use unbreakable water technique. Mining Blob his tallest, largest prison's world records. Curlvite with his big orb. Canadian with his trapdoors designs. That's 7 builders let's make a 10. So Mean Ray with the most popular Zeus Vault. Forest Fox's Apollo Vault also heard he's making another one, and finally Front Odysseus Vault. So yes I am not in the list, cause I don't wanna be biased so let's start. So first awesome dude, a redstone genius who made a pretty good prison and still stands as one of the best prisons. So is he a good builder? Well a full identical Pandora's Vault world download isn't available. So I can't be fully accurate, but from what we can see from other replica of Pandora's Vault, there's is quite a lot of empty spaces, and it's not actually solid inside either from what we can see from some streams. There are also some pointless builds such as the water hallway, you don't even need water breathing to get through it. And the big iron door does have some use but a 2x2 two two iron door has almost all the same uses. Even the fallen ground shit does prevent some stuff, but with preparation it causes more harm to the guards than the prison's breakers. But overall it's still an amazing prison with ideas that's still used in present and escapable prisons. So I'll give him a 7.5 out of 10 for damn building skills. Now how about redstones? Now Sam is known to be a genius in redstone, and the redstones in Pandora's vault is impressive but compared to some of the others on this list he could have done better, so I'll give him a 7 again. So now with the IQ, first I definitely have to give him credit for the ideas as he was the first one to make an actual inescapable prison. Yes I know Dream helped but to make it fair any help will be included to the same builder too. So he'll get a 9, pretty good. Now since then, Poseidon Vault is an upgrade of Pandora's Vault and Hades Vault was an upgrade of Poseidon Vault, so sure the prison should be better but is the builder? So first the prisons he built is very compacted and it's very well built although it did follow some stuff from Pandora's so did every other prison. So it gets a 9, why not 10? Well I just have to say it's limited by theoretically sure it seems possible, but in order to perfectly time 60 elder guardians in survival you would have to put each of them in each chunk and load them one by one every one second and each chunk is 16 blocks. So you would also need some kind of machine that can help you travel exactly 16 blocks per second and hope your potato computer doesn't lag. But I guess it is possible, so I won't criticize it any longer. Now the redstone and wow it's impressive. I may not be a redstone genius, but I know mostly how redstone works but if you told me to figure out what each of these redstone does, I'll be there forever. So I'll give it a 10. Now finally the ideas, like almost every other prisons it was inspired by Pandora's so unless the ideas are real impressive none of the builders will be getting points near Pandora. But Hades does have a lot of original ideas too so I'll have to say 7. 
So next raise work another known redstone genius. So first the build is small and can be hidden easily. Every aspect is used for the prison. So 10 for building even though it's tiny. Now for the redstone when the prison was first released no guide or downloads were available. But it was simple enough for me to create a similar replica, but it did have some missing feature. So the redstone is useful and simple. It's not as simple than other smaller prisons so I'll have to say 6 because like other small prisons it offers no protection from someone breaking and if a prisoner is already inside. It would score higher if it was even more simpler. Now the idea he was the first one to even think of something like this using armor stands. I am pretty sure most people didn't even know that most items can't be used to fur inside an armor stands before this so I have to give it an 8 because it may be original and very creative but it's only one thing. Now we go eye another prison on the smaller scale. So is it well built small and effective but I have to give it lower points than Ray's work because if I just find it just not as impressive as Ray's one so an 8. And barely any redstone is required so based on that it's still amazing for it to be an inescapable prison. So it gets a 8 too even though it offers no protection from outside. The idea well it is creative, but it wouldn't be as impressive as Ray's again so 7. So now mining blobs prisons now his prisons designs are great but when you go inside. You find it's just a big hunk of crying obsidian. A complete waste of space, and it doesn't prevent anything either. No one will be digging from above when the sides are less thick. So let's take a look at his newer prison Tartarus. So this prison was made to prevent purling from below because Mithrodic was able to escape Titan Vault because of it. And the designs are great once again but once you go in you'll find wasted space again. Sure this time they used the top for something but they didn't use it correctly. If it was me I would put the cell somewhere higher as that would prevent purling from below bedrock by a little. But shown by Mithrodic as far as I know it doesn't prevent purling from below. Sure there's the chunk ban but I literally know almost nothing about chunk bans. I did some tests on my own and it seems to me it only works once after working once if another player goes into the chunk it doesn't ban them. Maybe I did something wrong but I just can't seem to get it to work. And the prison is still too big the chests disappear due to another kind of distance rendering. So I don't really think it works nor is it worth building such as big prison just to not successfully prevent breaking in. Also if it's activated manually I don't know how would they be able to know if someone is breaking in when the prison is this big there's something called an invisible potion. Unless they were using my detection system I really don't think any of these chunk band stuff works. So I'll have to give it a 5. I am sorry if I missed anything I tried my best to get more info since the video didn't give enough but nothing I found really helped. But if everything works as intended it gets a 10 for worth building. So next the redstone at first sight once again I can't tell what most of the redstone are for so I do find the redstone impressive but I don't find anything especially impressive. So it's gonna get an 8 again. So the idea? Well I can see some creative ideas there, but one of those ideas is chunk ban, and I find chunk bans in prisons just unfair, because it's more of a server side problem even worse than 60 perfectly timed elder guardians which also is in this prison. So it's gonna get 6. So now the orb prison, first thing first amazing and creative design, but I am not here to judge that so next. So is it well built? Well the big thing below for the stairs a waste of space again. And the inside well I can see some designs are used to prevent stuff. A lot of space is wasted again but I guess this is better because it's in the sky. Also for some reason there's this huge area without lava it doesn't cause much problem since it's solid but I guess that's a design fail. I won't deduct any points for that though but it does have the big doors again. So it gets a 7, since I just feel like it's a better build than other. Now the redstones once again this prison was one of the few that was made recently like Tartarus. So it's hard to find some original redstone machine, but there is the guardian lock and direct bed kill check, but that's more of an idea than redstone related so I'll have to give it a 7. 
Now the idea Guardian Lock is like lockdown in Hades, but more effective due to the amount of water in the prison, but I'll have to say that if someone is causing enough problems for a Guardian Lock, then they came prepared with potions too. But the nether portal idea is pretty good that would stop reinforcement. Also the kill guard instantly is also pretty creative I think he's the first one to think of it not sure. Also the hundreds of guardians is even making me lose FPS. So with all that it gets an 8 for ideas. Now Canadian most of his prison designs are simple a little too simple, but still effective like others but definitely larger than the others. I am sure there's other solution than a lava pool. And the old rotating prison doesn't actually work so I have no idea what's that about. So I'll have to give it a 6. Redstone are pretty simple and small like the water 1 so 8. The ideas are pretty creative the trap door design so 7. Now mean array, so on first sight this is pretty much a recreation of Poseidon's vault. The nether portal but with an unnecessary door. And the inside's not as much space as wasted compared to the others. And the one who built this sounds pretty young so that's real impressive and gets some bias points from me so on 8. The redstones once again no idea what half of them does, but not much original redstone designs. There is that lingering potion dispenser. Wait lingering potion requires the end. Ain't nobody is complaining about that when I am getting all the hate for using the end. Alright well he gets a 6 it is impressive, but there is quite a lot of useless stuff in the prison, such as the holding cells and more big doors. So if he built it better he could have gotten more points from building. Now the idea is it's pretty much Pandora's vault added with Poseidon's vault. But I won't criticize it for that since we are all just trying to make prisons so. I guess a 6.5 for knowing how to add them together. Now for Apollo vault. Same nether door. Weird walls and a lot of wasted space. But there is some interesting stuff. Using composter to have separation from the visitor instead of glasses. Also there is a lot of lava, water and soul in this prison so quite nice I don't think he's the first one to do this, but he's the one who used it the most in this list so I'll give him. Wait wait he just released a new prison let's review that one too. So again nether entrance also amazing design. So first this is another tall prison all the way to world height. And there's actually a reason for this one because the anvil walls. It's like an alternative to the perception vault, but only detect the walls. Above and below no redstone detection. But it is solid so pretty much no one is gonna break in from above. And the cell is in the middle, so a little better than the other tall prisons but one problem. This doesn't look like the world height, but the clouds. Wait, it's a 500 blocks thick box below. So this either has to be taller and be built on bedrock or just leave it floating on the sky. But even with all that I am giving it 8 points because it did utilize the tall prison better. Redstone there are some creative lockdown but no redstones really stand out compared to the first few inescapable prisons created but it still gets a 7. Now the idea it's pretty great I actually didn't think of using falling blocks for a detection type prison. If built a little better I think it could have detected from all direction too. So I ate again. Now finally the last one front. First sight much smaller than other prisons. Just from the build alone for this to be a prison that's both inescapable and protection from the outside it's pretty good. And it have been escaped but I wouldn't call it a valid escape as it requires someone sneaking into the prison even before a prisoner is inside. So this both compact and effective a Hades vault security level prison, but literally third of the size. A 10 for sure. The redstones it's still complicated but for the security it offers it's a 9 for sure. Now for the ideas now there isn't much if any original idea in this prison, but if you are able to use an idea and make it easier and just as effective that's a high IQ and that's another 8 from me. And with that the best Minecraft prison builder is. Obama. Well yes the best prison builder in my opinion right now is Front. This may not be expected, I didn't even expect this. Also his profile is also green, similar to someone. 
Well anyways here's the points that everyone got. And if you enjoyed please subscribe and leave a like. This is the longest script I wrote for a video, but the Erebus Vault one is definitely gonna be longer.